Stuart, what was your take on that game today? Ah, absolutely delighted with the level of performance and the buy-in that we got from the players. Um, again, uh, I keep talking to the players about this this ego factor. I'm I'm, I'm not, never been a guy that's that's massive on people having misplaced ego. And for us to set up the way that we did and get the buy-in for the players, and I've said it to them that if anybody has an ego within that, then it breaks down and Celtic will win that game today. So that's the most pleasing aspect. It's a simple aspect, but it's the most pleasing aspect for me. First and foremost, that gives us a foundation in the game that no matter what happens whether you go a goal behind that you still have the character and the personality um, and the belief in what you've been asked to do for for, for 90 I think 98 minutes today um, to, to, to go and execute it um, we always know we carry a threat at the top end of the park um, but the shape for me the structure of what we what, what, what we set up in what, what was excellent it was, it was great and a lot of people might look at the game a, a different way a lot of people might see that you should play a different way that was what we felt would fit best to go and try and get some sort of result here and coming to a place that nobody's took a point this season um, let's not forget that this is a mismatch in terms of what they spend in comparison to what we have and all the rest of it I don't want to go too deep into that um, but when you look at those aspects I think it's a fantastic result for, their, for, for our group of players but our football club as well Like you say Celtic are so dominant at home you go 1-0 down in the first half managed to get ourselves in at half time you're one down through a deflected effort what do you say to your team to kind of keep their heads up and try and instill that confidence back in the team that they can go out and get something there wasn't a, there wasn't a lot wrong in the first half you, you do you find yourself a goal down um, I wouldn't even say that that was a chance obviously from Cal McGregor it's a deflected effort I felt that Liam Kelly would have gathered it pretty easily um, but sometimes those flailing legs catch the ball and, and, and deviates it into the goal which happened um, it was about not being disappointed about that showing a good reaction about having the correct body language that's something that we looked at this week as well and again without going too deep into it when something doesn't go your way, uh, your way here and you show a poor body, uh, body language then this type of opposition can capitalise on it, they see it, they exploit it and I didn't feel we had that at any point. My job at half time was maybe just to prod one or two and just try and generate that belief that there was something in the game for them because I felt that the shape was okay but I thought we could be a wee bit more progressive and a wee bit more aggressive within it as well um, and, and I meant that by those individual duels, believing that you can get the better of those in, individual duels um, and I can reference that with, with our two young wing backs you know you look at Max Johnson, James Furlong on the park, I know Lennon Miller comes on which was, which was terrific to get a 16 year old in the park and get a result here um, but believing in playing against international players that you can come out on top of those 1v1 situations um, and I think and I said before the game Scott and you know this um, that I believe that they can come out the other end of a game like this the better players with far more experience um, we can't recreate that in a full season of training what happened for some of these guys out there today um, but I think that they're really well helped by some of the senior guys in there also it's a big experience that for the young players like you say but for the squad as a whole when you come here and you manage to get a result should that just remove any sort of fear that they've got going into any game that they can compete with anyone in this league yeah I think I think this should be another layer onto it because we knew that this was going to be the, probably the stiffest test that we've had um, by what you're playing against the level that you're uh, you're trying to operate in um, but I think we've shown in a number of weeks that we've been good in that sense that we can compete with pretty much everybody we've played against don't think we've been out of any game we've played so far I think that we've been um, well involved in every single fixture that we've played um, but yeah I think you're right I think that this one should give us a, a, a another um, sort of level of belief in, in what comes in the next five games because as we keep saying nothing's been achieved we've not done anything um, and we have to try and maintain standards to walk right up to the last whistle of the, the final game and I think that this gives us a decent foundation for that. It's next week now just a chance to kind of recover and just get everyone back in, back in line again and go again? No, I'm going to bore you again and, and tell you that it's a working week because it absolutely is a working week. We've, we've got a number of guys sitting on that bench there that are, that are champing at the bit and desperate to get in the team. Shane Blaney comes on for, for Dan Casey. Um, I thought he was excellent when he came on, but you can see that there's players desperate getting at the start in the living. Um, and, I, and I think it would be really unprofessional of me to start to think that it was tools down next week and that we can just go through a, a really relaxing week. We have a, another reserve game. We'll have training sessions in there. Of course, we'll give the players a couple of days to to make sure they recover um, but everything we'll do next week will be focused on this set of fixtures that come when the um, when the post split fixtures arrive and we see what they are but everything we're doing is going to be working towards that um, and I know that the players have a desire to do it as well they don't want holidays they, they don't want days off so we look forward to next week and setting us up for what comes in the, in the last five. Thanks for your time Shirt and well done. Thank you.